Hello, this is uh, another math lesson designed for uh, Marion Mix Elementary School 5th grade students. I'm Mr. Ohama, and this is a lesson on writing numerical expressions, so taking words and turning them into math. It goes with Go Math Lesson 1.10, and our learning intention today is that you can write simple expressions that record calculations with numbers. Um, Identifying the operation from words, that's going to be kind of the whole lesson, really. Like, uh, which, mean, which words mean add, subtract, multiply, and divide. Uh, and then it's especially important to write your expression in the proper order. And I'll show you, show you an example of that. Um, and you're interpreting um, math expressions into words or word expressions into math. Uh, Skills that you need, you need to know some of the words that represent the operations, right? And the operations we're talking about is um, you know, kind of the vocabulary, is the operation, which is add, subtract, multiply, or divide. So you hear like order of operations, it's just the order of you doing these things. Uh, and then expressions are just number sentences with um, at least one operation in them. And our notes are uh, which words represent operations, and I put the four operations there with a bunch of room, right? So we'll populate this as we go. So we're going to kind of start our note catcher here, but then as we go through the lesson, we're going to uh, continue to come back to our notes and write them in there. All right, there are four here that we're going to start with, and we'll start with the upper left here. Uh, Emma has 11 fish in her aquarium. She buys four more. So we're going to be writing a math um, sentence for this. So I know there's two numbers, 11 and 4, and some of these other numbers might tell me I'm going to be subtracting or I'm going to be adding. Uh, so I know the two digits or the two numbers are 11 and 4. So I start with 11 because that's what it says. Emma has 11. Then what does she do? She buys four more. Well, I know more is a, um, a word that means add, right? So it's 11 plus 4 is my expression. Now, you don't have to solve that. Like the, the whole point here is just to write the expression. You don't have to evaluate it and say it's 15. She's got 15, right? You're just writing the expression. So we found more is one of the um, key words there. So we'll go back to our notes and write in more, right? All right, moving on now. Let's go to the right here. Lucia has... Uh, 128 stamps, or Lucia has 128 stamps. She uses it 38 on party invitations. So I know the two numbers are 128 and 38, uh, and I just need to know what the operation is. 128, uh, oh, and she uses them. So she had these, and she used that. So she used them up, which means she took them away out of her, you know, storage, I guess. And so it's minus there. So when you use 38, you're talking about subtract. So subtract is to use. Now there are many more words for add, right? There's many more words for subtract. And there's going to be more words for multiply and divide than the ones we just put on our notes from this lesson. So as you go through your work, just keep adding to your notes. All right, here we go. Carla buys five books. Each book costs three dollars. So I know 5 and 3 are going to be part of my number sentence. And I have to pick out a word that means some operation, right? Carla buys, let's see, that could be a one books each. Oh, there it is, each. Uh, so if each book costs five or $3, it's multiplying, right? Because they're the same thing, and you're adding it five times, like five books for $3 each. That's always a multiplication. Each doesn't always mean multiplication, but in this case, uh, we're talking about adding $3 for every five book, right? So five times three. Uh, and so we're going to add each to our multiplication notes and move on to the last one. Four players share 54 cards equally. Now in this one, there's only one number, right? 52. But here's the other number. It's written in words. Now you should be able to see that. So my, my two are four and 52. And the phrase that we're looking for is share equally. So if four players share 52 cards equally, it's divided. 
And this is where writing things in order really helps. In the word sentence, four came first, then 52. So students who are just following, you know, the the order are going to say it's four divided by 52, but it isn't. If they're sharing 52 cards among four people, it's actually 52 that's divided by how many people are sharing them. So let me get the eraser out. That was a mistake. Uh, and then rewrite it as it should be, 52 divided by 4. So we got shared equally as part of our notes. So anytime we see share equally, we're going to say that's a, oh, those are words that mean division. All right, so the first part of this is just writing an expression to match some words. All right, now, look, these things get longer, right? Here's a big, long um, word sentence, like one, two, three, four sentences. And you have to interpret that and write an expression. Now, remember, you're not coming up with an answer. You're not coming up with a number at the end. You're coming up with the expression or the number sentence that represents all of these words. So let's read them carefully. Doug went fishing for three days. All right, so I know three is going to be one of my numbers. In fact, I'm going to get the highlighter out. Three is a number. Each day, ooh, there's one of our trigger words, right? Um, I think it means multiplication, right? Each day puts $15, so 15 is going to be at the word, uh, in the number sentence. At the end of the day, he had $5 left. Or if each day he had $5 left, how much money did Doug spend at the end of the trip? All right, so he went for three days, and every day he put $15 in and had $5 left. Hmm. We have to write a number sentence for this. So when you're talking about each day and there's three days, you know the three is going to be part of it. The each means multiply here. So th three days and each day he did this. Now when you have two more of these things, sometimes you have to put them in parentheses because each day he started with 15 and he subtracted some money, right, to get five left. And here's kind of the trick. Five isn't part of this because that's how much he had left at the end of the day. So how much did he have to subtract from 15 to get the five? Well, it was 10. So each day he would take $15, subtract 10, and he would have five. And he did that for three full days, which means I'm going to be multiplying everything he did during the day times three. Um, you can also write that as 15 minus 10 and then multiplying it by 3. All right, each way is fine, but as long as you put parentheses around these because you have to subtract this first, right? You have to do the subtraction 15 minus 10 to get 5, and then you're going to multiply it by 3. All right, so these longer ones are a little bit tricky. Sometimes you have to read them really carefully because some people might say 3 times 15 minus 5, but really you're not subtracting 5 because he had 5 left. That's kind of the answer to a subtraction problem. They're, they're not easy people. All right, here's your task. Uh, working on page 44 and 45 and getting that at a 90 degree accuracy. If you can do that, you have mastered the skill. Good luck.